In this short video, I'm going to show you how to check the signal strength of your SunGrow dongle. Now, there are times where it may stop uploading to iSolarCloud. There can be a variety of reasons for this. But the first thing we need to check is that the signal strength is strong enough to get from the inverter to your modem. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is download an app onto your mobile phone, something similar to this one here. As long as it's a Wi-Fi signal strength meter, it will work. Once you've done that, you go to your settings on your phone. This is an Android, yours might be different. And you go into your settings, you go to connections, and you go into the Wi-Fi. Now, what you need to do is on your dongle, there are three LEDs. You will see the LEDs and a QR code. And between the two, there's a little button which you click three times. Now, once you do that, you're enabling the Wi-Fi hotspot mode and the serial number of the dongle should appear on your list of Wi-Fi devices. So we'll just wait for that to appear. There we go, rescanning, and there it is there. It has just appeared. Always starts with an SG hyphen and then the serial number. So we tap that and we are now connected directly from the phone to the Wi-Fi dongle. Okay, so we go back into the uh, signal strength meter and you can see here, I'm about oh, a meter away from it and it's 97, 98%, which is quite good. So I'm going to go for a walk. The range on these is normally about 10 meters. So I'm going to go for a walk. And as you can see, as I'm walking, the signal strength is going lower and lower, but it's still quite good. It's 80, 75%, which is still quite good. You're going to need at least 50% signal strength to get a decent quality signal. Anything less than that and you will get dropouts or maybe it just won't communicate at all. In which case, if you've got this problem, you will need to purchase a Wi-Fi extender. But uh, if your signal strength is like what I've got here, then there's no problem.